welcome to Winning Creations. I'm Beth. Uh, today I'm going to make my very first YouTube um, video um, where I'm going to make a card. And this is the card we're going to make today. A little bit closer. You'll probably see it better when I move the camera down. But it's from using all supplies from the beautiful new Eastern Palace Bundle Suite. Now I purchased the Premier Bundle which has everything in it. It was $178 Australian. But I saved $20 by getting that because um, with the the bundle they're only available until the 31st of May. After that only the pieces in it will be available separately. There is a bundle but it's the stamp set and the, the framelits that you can get but none of all the other exciting, um, the DSP, the tassels, the vinyl stickers and everything like that they're not included uh, in the in the bundle after the 1st of June. So get in quick now and uh, get a bundle uh, and let's get started on the card. Okay, to get started on the card, um, all my materials I have, I have my snail glue, a paper piercer, this is just to poke out any dots that uh, excess uh, paper inserts that haven't come out on your die cut. I've got my writing markers, I've got my stamps all organised from my um, Eastern Beauty Palace Suite, which is awesome, comes in the bundle, will be available to purchase on its own after on the 1st of June. And um, I have the, the framelits, which I'm going to use one, this one is from the um, Eastern Palace Bundle Suite, there's mine of Put onto magnetic sheets and then to cut that out I've used the large layering circle from the layering circles framelits and that's what you get when it comes out so I've just saved a bit of time for the video and uh, got everything all ready to go I also have a, a piece of the DSP cut from by 15 by 5 centimeters all the measurements will be on my blog site uh, as well with the video and um, another piece of uh, vanilla white, um, very vanilla cardstock run through the big shot with the big polka dot, dot um, embossing folder and that is the same measurement for that and that will form the front of the card. I've got my piece of ribbon, I've got my dimensions and I think we're all ready to go. I've got my little bitty bow, I think we're all ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is I'll just put all this aside and I'm going to stamp this. Now, as I said, I've cut this out on the big shot and I'll just show you what I mean. Some of these just get a little bit caught in here. So before I put it away and clean it, I clean it all and get all these little dots out. So that just, just to remind you to do that before you use it again. And any of these little ones that haven't popped out, I'll just use a paper piercer. So I'm going to get the, the little stamp that has the little three teardrop um, uh, designs on it. I'm going to use my Fresh Fig stamp and I'm going to stamp in between each of the pullouts. So these lift up. So this die doesn't actually cut in between. It only, um, so it gives it like a, a 3D effect. So just stamp in between those and it just adds a little bit more dimension to it. So we'll just go ahead if you want to change, do different, do your tranquil twig, do a di totally different colour scheme. Um, let your imagination go wild. This is purely just for demonstration purposes, and that I like these colours. So that's um, the little stamp. Now make sure you clean your stamps on your stamp and scrub. The wet side. I'd already sprayed this before. Okay. So we're going to do something a little bit different with our sentiment stamp. I'm going to use my write and markers and I'm going to do the top here. This, this one actually says, you probably won't be able to see it, but it's this one. Um, to think of you is to smile. So that's the one I'm going to use. So I'm going to take my write and marker. Now if you haven't used these before, um, you'll see that it's two-ended. This line here indicates that this is the thin the thin point and this is the thicker point. So we're going to use the thicker point and I'm going to take your pen and just colour in your top wording. So to think of you is to 
in your fresh fig. I don't know whether you can see me doing that, but just colour that in. Okay, just make sure you've got good coverage. Is to, and don't forget your little Y, tag of your Y. I always do a test stamp anyway, just to make sure. Now we're going to take your um, Tranquil Tide one and we're going to do the smile. So it just gives you a little sentiment, something a little bit, a little bit more colour, a little bit of more interest. Okay. Okay, so they would have dried a little bit, so you're just going to take it, do a hot breath, and I'll just test it on my grid paper here. And I think that's looked good. So I'll just go over that again, just where I I did it. If you're confident in that you know that you've got it and you might be have a different stamp, you know, you don't have to test it. That's just me being making sure that I had all the words covered. Okay, so sometimes I just like to test my stamps out and make sure I've got a good coverage. Okay, hot air again. <sighs> and stamp it off. To think of you is to smile. I think that's a lovely sentiment. Clean your stamp. Okay, now what I do is just pop these up a little bit more before we glue it on. There we go, and that's going to look quite good on our card. So we're going to glue, glue everything together now. I've run this through the Big Shot already just to save a bit of time. Um, I better put the lids on my pens, otherwise they will dry out. And you can re-ink those with your, your re-inkers. Um, if you do, you just dip them in. Um, so I'm going to glue these down. So that's going to go on there with my snail. Now this beautiful DSP paper is double-sided. I'm going to use the circle side because that matches the, uh, the die cut that we've done. So just glue it up with your snail. You can use your Tombow. It's totally up to you what glue you use. I do like my snail though. That goes on the bottom. You can see that. Do the same with your embossed piece of card. Very easy card this. Very easy. Um, now I will have the measurements for you. I have done these a little bit out, um, but I will trim that up. In fact, I'll do that now. I could have stuck it in my stamp and trimmer, but I don't know what happened there. My eyesight is not the best, but the proper measurements will be on my blog site. Okay, so now we're going to attach the ribbon. Beautiful color. So what I do now is, um, there is a bit of a gap here, and I did that on purpose because the ribbon's going to hide it, and then it gives me an idea of where it's joined. So I attach a little bit there. This is how I do it. You may have a better way of doing it. Um, but I just find it's easy to do this way. I can line that up, and then I know where that is. A little bit more ribbon there and glue that over. This might tuck that down a bit more. There we go. So there's the ribbon. All we need now is to put this on with our dimensions. A few of those. Love the dimensions. They're easy to grab, easy to take the backs off. after I've been in the room, the craft room, crafting and going to have a shower and I'll, I'll have all these little backs all over me. So I throw them in the rubbish as soon as I can. Okay, cards coming together nicely. Now a beautiful little ribbon which has got the sticky dot on the back already. Awesome! Take that off. These are beautiful little bows, the ribbon bows that are available as of the 1st of June. Um, they come in a pack of all the in colours. I've used up all my Tranquil Tide ones. There's one. Oh, and there's a fresh fig one. 
So um, they're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So there's the finished card. I um, I hope you enjoyed the, the card making class today and I'd love to see some of your ideas. So um, send me an email, send me some pictures of what you've made, would love to see them. Thanks for joining me today and um, hope to pop back another day. Hope to see you soon. Bye.